Hey, my beautiful collective, welcome to Scorpio Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, like and subscribe, hit that notification button if anything resonates. If this is not your first time on my channel, hey family, welcome back. So we're going to dive into this uh, energy. Most high, I thank you for my powerful, brilliant collective. I thank you for their life, their purpose, and their very being. Anything that's hindering them, we ask you to remove it. Victory is ours. We walk in and we receive it. It is so. Okay, most high, what is it that our beautiful collective should know at this time? What should our beautiful collective know at this time? Messages of power, light, and love. Okay, first card that came out, family, is the Six of Swords. Right now, uh, there's an energy of you really feeling the need to, to mentally move away from a situation that has been causing you drama and chaos. I feel like you're moving away from, from an energy of lies, deception. And it's like, you, it's just being tired of wanting to keep going through the same mental anguish that uh, seems not to be getting better. So right now I feel that you finally pulled up the strength to leave a situation that always kept you in some type of heartbreak. It was like always secrets coming out, always things that need to be revealed. And 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 the truth is, it's like you realize the ugly truth and you realize that some movement had to be made. So I feel like you're making the initiative to leave a situation that is no longer serving you. The next card that we have is the the chariot. Now, the chariot came out in reverse. Spirit is telling me to read it both ways. For the chariot, this way, it, it's like knowing, it's, it's like leaving a situation, mentally leaving a situation. But because it was in reverse, I feel like this is an energy of contemplating on if you should revisit it. I feel like maybe, maybe you got some type of... Um, a message from someone that is saying that they changed or it's like it's like hearing the things that you want to hear but not sure if it if it has changed and for some of you guys you are contemplating on if you want to uh go back to a situation that was a three of swords the three of swords came in reverse so this is like this is someone who broke your heart, somebody who who hurt you, who who listened to outsiders, who chose other people other than you. And because it's in reverse, this is like uh, you want to go. You're thinking about going back because someone is giving you a promise that they have changed. Someone is promising you that they are not going to let third parties interfere at this time. In a way, I don't feel like you trust them, but it's something that you want to hear. Mm. Messages of power and life for my beautiful Scorpio collective. Messages of power and life. Yeah, right now, Scorpio, you, you've you healed from the situation. That's the reason why you were able to move forward. I feel like it wasn't an easy task. And right now, I feel like your divine uh, ancestors and spirit guides are giving you, gave you intuition that it was time to move. It was time to be balanced. It's time to balance yourself. So you had to remove yourself from situations that wasn't balanced. I feel like right now, right now you are looking, you are the star. I feel like there's a lot of people admiring you right now. I feel like you're leaving situations that people never even knew that you were in or that you were dealing with. And I see the devil card. So you could be uh, dealing with a Capricorn and it is 11, 11, <laughs> 11, 11 blessings on blessings on blessings. So right now I feel like with this, with this um, devil card, there's somebody that is very, um, Somebody that's becoming more obsessed with you because you pulled your energy away. And I feel like that is the that they're coming in with a desperate energy on wanting you to come back, wanting you to revisit a situation that wasn't serving you. And the thing is, it's like this person is desperate, so they are they will say and do anything for you to come back uh towards them. This has been a defining a uh, moment in your life, Scorpio Collective, because we have the star, the chariot in reverse, and the devil. These are major arcana cards. So these are things that really played a, 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 a definite part in your life on your elevation. But the truth is, Spirit says this person is very is still sneaky. This person is very much lying about not being in a third party situation or not having somebody. This person is addicted. Oh, Lord, I'm in love with the cocoa. So this person could have drug issues. This person is is, is becoming addicted to you because I feel like you are glowing and growing. And now they're telling you anything. They're telling you, okay, there's no more third party situations. But this person is still in this very sneaky energy. 
Spirit saying this is the energy for you to con for, for you to have the ten of swords for you to really release the pain or or, or release this situation altogether because because the chariot is in reverse. This is somebody that wants you to come back or somebody that feels that they can uh, persuade you to come back towards them. Messages of power and light. Yeah, this is it right now. There's somebody that's taking their time moving towards you because they are trying to see how are they going to persuade you to, to, to come to come back towards them. This is somebody that is in Herman mode. You probably haven't heard from them, but they are about to come back in because you they were waiting on you to come back in and, and accept them like you've done in the past. And right now, I feel like... You're not even, you're not associating with any type of heartbreak. You're not dealing with any deceptive type of energy, but I feel like collective, you have a lot of, you have a lot of people around you that are obsessed with your life and what you're doing. And then we have the queen of pinnacle is because you have, you, you have left drama. You have left toxic people, family member situations, friendships, relationships. You've left sneaky behaviors and now the thing is, since you've left that, you have leveled up. Your finances have grown. It's like you hit the lottery once you left them. And people, because the, the devil card is in the middle of the deck, people around you are obsessed and they are plotting towards you. I feel like this is like people plotting to get back in, people plotting to... Uh, it's like I want to they want to get back in, but to still be on the same uh, lower vibrational energy. Most high, what is the devil card? Mm. That's gonna come out. I can feel it. Most high, what's the devil card? Yeah, somebody is obsessed because you are successful now. Somebody is obsessed with your success. Someone is addicted to wanting to be with you because since you've left them, you have become famous. It's like you have really be like from rags to riches. And this person is seeing your fame. This person is seeing your growth. This person is seeing your elevation. And they are becoming very addicted to being back in with you. And this person is going to do whatever they have to do to gain your trust. Messages of power. Uh-huh. But Spirit says, look, this ending, this ending, Scorpio, something ended. You ended the situation with all of these sneaky individuals. And, and and as you begin to end it, your abundance, your prosperity starts to gain. Now, these people are waiting, patiently waiting. They're waiting to come back in, to, 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 to come in and be a part of you. But it's like a still deceptive energy. Some people are coming in so that they can try to ruin what you build. Some people are coming in so they could be a part of it, so they could still have deceptive ways. It's like they say, if you could only give them your energy. Some people are addicted to your energy. And it's because you are successful and your money is going all the way up. The very thing that they were seeking in other people, you have, you, you obtain it now. Messages of power. Yeah. I feel like right now with the hangman, for some of you collective, it's like you don't even know. You don't, like, it's like you know, but you don't even know what direction these people are coming from. And also, because of who you are, some of these people don't even know how to come towards you because they know you're protected. They know that you are uh, in tune with spirit. And also, these people know that fucking with you can cause them death, like literally, spiritually. Because since you moved around, they have already experienced up a portion of spiritual depression. <sighs> All right, collective. Woo! I will let that go. I love y'all. Love yourself. Just be mindful that uh, you do have uh, people who I know, and I know a lot of you like. Look, Mercy. I don't want nobody obsessing over me. But just because you don't want it, don't mean it's not happening. Okay. So what it is is protect yourself. Protect your mindset. Protect. Protect your happiness, because. Spirit says you're protected. They can't touch you. You untouchable. But it don't mean they ain't going to try. I love you, family. We are the gods and we have awakened.